am going to walk us through how to use Storytel on Zoom calls. And so I'm just gonna be moving my face around because sometimes it's in the way, like right now. So the example I'm using here is our all hands meeting, which is the most recent one. Um, you know, the new here, chat there, and I'm going to select download. And yeah, you saw that little like sensor icon pop up, but you can also see we have downloads in progress and it's more than one. So I'm actually gonna get quite a few files. And so ta-da, here, here's all the files. And I've downloaded this before, so you're just gonna see it a number of times. All right, and it's still downloading, there's still more files. And okay, so now I want to go into Smart Chat and upload this. So I'm going to go to the upload to the content manager. So I'm in the content manager now. See, ta-da, content manager. And the upload modal has immediately appeared. And I am going to choose from here the largest file. So that's gonna be this one, 309.6. Um, so that's the one you want. And the default is that it uploads just to your organization. So that means anyone with a Storytel account who has the same domain as your email, so like Paramount, um, could have access to this if you, uh, if you have it at only my org. You could also set it to just me. So maybe only you wanna interact with this, you don't wanna share it with anyone else. Okay. So up to you. I'm going to do this only my org just because it's for my organization and that's how we operate. Um, that you have to have a really good reason to restrict a meeting. We're, we are obviously a different size. So I'm going to, so I've, here's the important thing that I've just done. So I've I changed the permission and now I'm going to give it a tag name. So for instance, this was June 19th of this year. Um, I'm going to say story tell all hands. And I'm going to hit enter in order to save that tag. And I'm going to add another one because I want to put all our all hands into a tag. So I'll just put story tell all hands. So to this, I would add this tag to every single all hands that we're uploading, which we, we do as, as part of what we do. So now I'm going to, we've done everything we need to do here. You could upload more files if you wanted to. Um, and so I'm going to close out of this. So I can either hit done here or I can hit the X. I'm hitting that. So we're still in the content manager. I'm going to move over here. And here's the recording that I've just uploaded. So, and you can see here's the tags associated with that recording. Also, I can move this around if I need more space and go ahead and select view. So I can double check, you know, I mean, one, you can see the orange that's set to only my org. So I've got tags here. I could um, I could do a number of things. I could change, come on face. Um, I could change the name of the file. I could uh, delete it. I could change the permission. I could add tags. I could delete tags. These are AI generated concepts um, that's come from our AI. I could read the executive summary. Wait, you know, maybe I have a lot of files in here. It's like your Google Drive or yeah, whatever you use for files. I think you're a Microsoft operation. I could see an excerpt of uh, the transcript here or even the Zoom itself. Okay, right, and I can just view the source content. So I go back to, to the source. I'm just gonna hit pause there. That's our one of our engineers. Okay, and so I've done what I wanted to do and I can see, okay, there's, there's a number of ways to interact with this content. The most powerful is gonna be with the tag itself. So the tag's right here. So I'm gonna select the tag and then I'm gonna go chat with the tag. So do you see we're not in the content manager anymore? Move my face. Um, we were in content manager and now we are in the chat interface. And this is, tell, this is orienting us. This is telling us, hey, you're chatting with everything in this tag. Now everything in this tag is just the one Zoom. Okay, so you'll see that we have the question library open here. If it were ever closed or you wanted to close it, just do that, bing, bing, bing. 
Yes, I make little sounds. So this is a meeting and this meeting prompt is really powerful. Um, it's gonna give you the title of the content, who is involved, a list of topics and bullet format, sentiment, questions asked, any action items. And then it like really goes in depth about what, what do we mean by action items, right? And so we're giving some instructions around format and output. So I'm gonna, I, I'm good as is. Now for you, you know, important uh, items from this meeting, you're gonna need to give it a little bit of context. Hey, this is a cross-functional call with some deeply technical content. Not everyone in the team is technical. I need this to be explained in depth and simply. So I need a, a simple version of it and in, in greater technical depth, if that's accurate. So something along those lines. So I'm going to start here. And now Storytel is responding. OK, so we're getting what, you know, what was happening here. Um, we didn't happen to have action items from this meeting, but I know from yours you will. And for instance, let's see. So two things to show you. So you see this modal that just popped up? Okay, let's say, yeah, this is great. I, I really want to um, use this in my notes that I'm gonna share out. So I'm gonna hit copy, and then I can you know drop it wherever I wanna copy it. I could download it as a PDF. I'm guessing copy is gonna be better for you. If I want better formatting, I can go like that. But what's special about these? Um, mm, 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 would say it's that it takes you back to the source. So these are inline citations and they take you to something that we, this is our algorithm that's on top of the models and we call them story tiles. So it takes the, the Zoom meeting and breaks it up into all of the concepts from that Zoom meeting. So there could be hundreds of, of tiles just from one meeting. Okay, and control page is winning versus the enterprise page, right? So here's the transcript from the call. And if I want to hear, okay, wh what were the learnings? Or I, I just wanna actually hear people's voices to be reminded as opposed to just seeing the summary, right? Mark. And then the, that will start to play. And then, so you're done with that, you exit out of that. Um, Right, and you can also ask follow-up questions, which you're probably going to want to do. Um, and what else did I wanna show you? You can share, so let's say you've made this available to your org, right? And so here's one way that you can share it. Go to those three dots, hit share, and copy the smart chat, and then share this link around, okay. Hopefully that is helpful. If you ever wanted to add more knowledge, you go to Content Manager. Also, you can go to Company Knowledge and see what other people have added um, to Paramount. So that'd be the, another way that your colleagues, uh, your teammates could access um, the meeting that you wanna share. Again, totally up to you. You decide what to upload, you decide the permissions. Okay, thank you.